Hello guys, welcome back to Kingdom Come, or King, yep, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, my name is Journeyman, and here we're picking back up. Uh, last episode, uh, we had been attacked, and now we are on the run, trying to escape after our parents have both been killed. Um, so yeah, let's keep, keep going, and see what happens. Oh dang. This is, this is just crazy. Looks like they've been pillaging around. I wonder what they're here for. Um, just keep going back down to the docks. I don't hear anything else at the moment. Um, yeah, let's go over here. It seems like there's a little bit, a little bit less stuff going over here. What oh, is just great? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the where did you come from? Go to hell, you shut up, me! Horse riding, you can call your horse by whistling them, mount it. Let's see, how do we Okay Cover Peace Makes pays. Left catwalk just to recover. Okay. So, same thing. Shift. Fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shoot. Ooh, I like forgetting my buttons. What the heck? Okay, we want to stop. Stop blocking on. Okay, come on. Okay. That's annoying. Yeah. Come on, horse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the aqua robot they came saving in your middle of running. Holy cow. What the heck? Dude, just leave me alone. It was like some kind of crazy chasing. <laughs> Please don't have me control the horse. And that's intense. Yeah, you bring your own horse, you can whistle. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Where am I going to? Yeah. Fresh arrow point. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Left. Kalmur gets to the left along the stream. Yeah. I'm happy you know where yeah. we're going. Is he still chasing after me? Go to the sorts, I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah. Or at least they're trying to keep up with me. <laughs> yeah, they're right back. Man, hear them. Oh, dang. They're right behind me. You guys chasing me? <laughs> okay, come on. There's both behind us. We gotta get going, horsey. <laughs> we are not doing too well. Uh oh, uh oh. Sorry, guys. You guys are. Yeah, you guys are 
dead. Not by me though, I promise not by me. Just try along here, get a... Uh, some stamina on the back. Get whacked on the back, holy cow, I'm almost dead. I didn't even... We need to keep moving. These guys are relentless. Too. Yeah. Just gotta keep moving. How how far is this? Let's check the map here. Okay. So this is what is that? Oh, did I just like fast travel this? <laughs> if I did, I did not mean to do that. Come on. Uh, did you see him leave me alone? <laughs> do you think there'd be a lot more? Quickly, everyone! Get your ass in there! Hey! There we go. Loose! You guys are lousy shots. Dude, holy cow. Did you get everybody pulled in? What the heck? Seriously. Hello, everybody. Someone give him a drink. Please. And bring hot wine and bandages. I couldn't imagine. Just being at your home and the next thing you know, everything's getting invaded. Like, that's just crazy. Tell me, boy. <laughs> who are you? And where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Good, at least they're, they're helping us out. Get your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Ooh. I think you probably should do is pull that out without like having some kind of splinter or something on it. Easy. All done. Go clean. You were lucky, Go clean pull. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? Dude, there you go. He's doing good. New. <laughs> Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Say my legs hurt, not my, not my voice. Oh, this is so cool. Sir, this is a survivor from. I heard, Robard. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? <laughs> So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. 
They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalas is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? No. I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Like my leg. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Don't you think it'll carry me? <laughs> so it sounds like. So we're in Hungary. And some invaders joining up with. Um. Of one of the other warlords here, and I don't know if it's necessarily warlords, maybe just a, one of the lords or uh, rulers of the land. And they might be on some kind of feud or something like that, and he's trying to take the land back. Say, so we'll definitely need to go and rest here in a second. Well, hello there. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see. Okay. So this is two towns away. Good. Probably, probably not a good idea to fast travel yet. Especially not to that area. Um... I can't just, like, do crazy things and just take them all. <laughs> Looks like we're hungry and we're tired. Looks very nice. Um, bakery? No? She has to start opening up people's random doors. It looks like it. Okay. <coughs> I pull my inventory real quick. Check the codex. Let's see. Let's read about where we're at. Tallenberg. Castle was built on a rocky uh, promontory at the beginning of the 14th century, either by Ernest of. Oh, sorry about these pronunciations here. Uh, Kuntis or. Horizontal of. Uterus? I have no idea. Um, please correct me in the comments. For more than 200 years, the castle was at the seat of the Lords of Utrecht, uh, who were later renamed after the residents, the Lords of Tallenberg. In 1390, the castle came into possession of, of Davish of Tallenberg. The same year, it was seized by Havel Medic of Vadek, who took Davish prisoner. Medic did not release Davish until 1397. Or 90, oh, 97, he was forced to do so by a decision of the provincial court. Only a ruin remains of the castle in the midst of the residential development. So it kind of gives us just kind of a basic idea, kind of the brief history about what's going on here in the area. And then, um, is there something on? Well, let's check. Uh, our home real quick so there's probably some in the area where uh, skillets lies today as early as 13th century though there's no mention of a castle until 1361 the development of the town was promote was prompted by the silver mining in the area as well as the existence of a nearby parish of Rovina 
the orders of the council included uh, six of skillets and Vidal of Johannes. Wilchis the fourth took possession of it in 1403, placed it under the governance of Knight Sir uh, Rezig uh, Kuila. Later that same year, the Okula was forced to flee the castle to protect the inhabitants of Skizik from King Sigismund's invading troops. Uh, Wat Wat which torched the castle and the adjoining village. The estate would never renew thereafter. Okay, so that kind of... Okay. So he is a king that's invading. Okay, in December of 1403... Was the fourth grant of the remain the remains of the village to John uh, Sokol of Lamberg. The ruin of the medieval castle and its fortifications was scattered, sca scavenged for building material for the Church of Saint John of the Monk in 1713, 1730. Today, only minor remnants of the gatehouse, well, the Zellweger, and the perimeter wall remain. Okay, that's kind of that's what I wanted to really know. Is kind of like what was happening here and what was happening in that area we were in okay so let's see right my whole town was attacked by foreign soldiers many people sla and many people slaughtered i couldn't get inside the castle before before they closed the gates they sent me to tomberg to warn the people there in case they had faced a similar fate i managed to get a hold of a horse to ride to tomberg as quick as I, as quick as possible and warn them there succeeded in the end, although it was cost my life. Those four, those four mercenaries, as a six men, were skilled at archery on horseback. They pursued me, and I took an arrow to the leg. It's a wonder I didn't bleed to death. I told Sir Davish about the terrible fate as skills it. After a briefing with his captain, Sir Robag, he decided it would be futile to go to go to Sir Aradzig's egg, and instead they would prepare Tommy Castle in this. In case Sigmund uh, should descend on them, and then he told his captain to take charge of mine, or of me. Uh, must okay. Eat. Yeah, we we must eat. Now let's go find the bakery and get some food. Okay, maybe. Oh. Hey! Be a bit more careful. Well, you move. You're in my way. Okay, yeah, we are what the hell? super hungry. Um. Can we go? Oh, here we go. No? Can't open that up. So we have food for me that I can borrow. I guess not. Let's go talk to him. Let's go talk to our night buddy here, uh, Sir Robot, and find out well. what we can do. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? It's yes. always easier to bear on a full stomach. I hear you came from Scarlet's today. Please. It must have been terrible there. Like a seriously about ready to pass out. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside from the court. Yes. I don't know if I heard the rest of that. <laughs> ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. Very. Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. I wonder if she... is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes, thank you, my lady. 
is a little bit more. Or maybe a lady of the castle? Us. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. It looks like the middle of the day. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Wow. <laughs> well, nothing about the blood, blood soaked shirt. For my pants that have blood all over them. Okay. Let's see. Oh, dude. Okay, we just need to eat. Okay, I'm, hey. I'm very happy we can pick up stuff. I want to eat it. Holy cow. Yes. Cheese. Okay, so I had to go in. Okay, so I do have to go into here. That's kind of a weird place I have to go to eat it. But well, we're not done yet. We got we got to eat more. Holy cow! Yeah, we do. You came from Scotland today. It must have been terrible there. How did it happen? It's the weirdest thing in the world to actually see him pick it up and then it just appears. <laughs> Cheese. Oh, Let's get the God cheese. damn it, my stomach hurts. Oh, oh, this is roast duck. Hmm. The salad's oh, bum right here. Well, I think I've never had the chance to ever try it before, but I've heard it's pretty good. Okay. Let's get this. Okay. Do I have a hunger meter on here on this page? I don't think I do. Well, that's food. <laughs> you know too much. Can you blame us? It's been a crazy day. I should have taken more food while I was in there. But oh well. What are you doing? Wow, you're a lot nicer in there. Um, so we can't just like randomly talk to people. It looks Jesus. like Jesus. Look where you're going. Um, and do we have something we can clean ourselves up with? Uh, can we use the well? Since we are a little dirty. Here we go. Hey, better than nothing, though. At least we're a little bit more presentable. Okay, let's go head in for nap time. <laughs> this one? Okay. Okay, guys on the compass. Just sit on it. Okay. Perfect. Just relax, dude. Get some rest, Henry. And we are going to sleep until... What time is it? Okay. Yeah, let's get 10 hours. That's probably too far. Okay, let's do that. No point in sleeping all day. You're gonna get woken up? I think we are. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir.
I would have, I would have been able to sleep after that crazy day. Yes? Holy cow. It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? My lady, uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. I think. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. It looks very confused. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Over time. Kind of just happened, so kind of just need some time to decompress, get used to being being here. Oh, well, yeah. Let's just tell the story of the raid. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Okay. Oh, crap. Um. A fellow by the name of Kunish owed money to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. <laughs> when I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzi. That was a beautiful sword. So, with Father that. and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. The horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. Mm -hmm. How awful. And then death descended on Scalas. Do that here. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, knights in full armor, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. Mm -hmm. 
I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I wasn't safe yet. The Cumans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. Mm -hmm. May God punish them. I hope so. And I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuban savages who planned to violate her. Let's see, let's see what happens. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them, and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Really? <laughs> I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. She didn't believe that. I'm surprised. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. You have a husband and you're here? I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harvel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only... He has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lord, you're still young. Beautiful. The best years are still ahead of you. What if that were true, lad? What if it were true? 
But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. <laughs> I'll go and let you sleep. Yeah. Coming here, talk my ear off, and then I want you to just go I to bed. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Oh, we're just happy to have a friend for a little bit. You did everything you could. Put him down to get involved. See, so we'll fight and get revenge a different way. Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Awesome. Let's hopefully we'll get some answers from them. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna. This is a good stopping point for tonight. Um, thank you so much for joining in today, um, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day, and again, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.